What is going on YouTube? This is Acid Root. So I'm going to review the sixth and final album by rock band No Doubt. Basically this project is called Push and Shove and it came out in the late summer of 2012. And basically the thing about this project is No Doubt had taken a quite large break after their 2003 greatest hits album, the singles 1992 to 2003, which I reviewed that back in the summer. So I checked that one out to kind of see what's up with it. It had all their singles on there for the most part. But then they had taken an even further break since their actual last two Studio album which came out in late 2001 which was called rock steady which i reviewed that back in 2015 so you can find that also but yeah this is a pretty hit album here it definitely has some riveting kind of dance vibes about this product i would have to say it has some good vibes they do return to some of the dance hall type stuff there are some dance hall moments on here they do have some kind of summary bops and stuff like that this typical kind of no doubt altitudes that they had on albums like tragic kingdom and rock steady and some of that type stuff this same vibes from before not like it doesn't have any originality points but just to kind of say it's got similar vibes from their old days just to be able to say that this was like their 20th anniversary back in 2012 their first album came out in 1992 so it's just kind of the concept that you get some returning moments now i can't say wholesomely if there's ones from like no doubt from 92 and their first album from night and their first album from 1995 because i don't know all their albums but at least to be able to say and stuff that there are some returning moments on there it definitely has some good vibes so similar vibe to like some songs like underneath it all and hella good and some of those type ones and just a girl and some of those type moments now, it doesn't have like a ubiquitous kind of number one song like don't speak on here but i do feel like they have a lot of good boppish kind of vibes and they're just a lot more contemporary this time this they're definitely more contemporary this time i like the concept that gwen stefani and the band are definitely in a more jivey kind of mode now most of the songs on this album there's 11 short songs on here but there is a deluxe edition that i'll review down the road but most of the 11 songs on here are in some form or fashion kind of dance type vibes and stuff i would have to say just amongst that the thing that they do manage to do is kind of pull off like some mid-tempo and slow dance kind of songs also. So most of this album's pretty dance oriented, but I would have to say it has a good contemporary type feel about it. That just is pretty much like a good, I mean, it's kind of a loud pack, but I will have to say that there's not really like makeshift like songs like there were, like when you think of like a stretching kind of summer. I would just have to keep in mind that if you are looking for like day-to-day -day kind of blue collar, nine to five type work type music, it doesn't have that really much on here, but that's not too much of a problem. I'm not going to be the one to complain and say oh well, there's not a makeshift song i mean it's something to note but it's just kind of the concept that for the most part this is like a pretty sheer i mean i definitely feel like this album works perfect for like late july august september about that fair it's not quite autumn music and it really doesn't feel terribly much like winter music but this third quarter of the year type stuff as far as that kind of goes is some late summer tunes kind of like a good kind of 2010s rendition almost a tragic kingdom in the sense just not quite as bombastic with the hit singles but i would have to say it's kind of a quieter album but i do like the concept of how heavy hitting it is just in terms of quality not quite a full-blown classic but definitely pretty definitely pretty stampedingly good i would have to say so it's just kind of the thing but there were approximately three singles off this particular album and the first one was settled down so there were really only two singles, but there was one promotional single, which was the title track Push and Shove. But the first single was Settled Down. And this, the first single was Settled Down. This is kind of a summer vacation type tune, I would have to say. It's a wavy kind of heat haze, I would definitely feel like. And it's just a nice breeze for a kickback kind of bop, I would have to say. So this is kind of one. It's kind of typical on their uh, Tragic Kingdom. This is kind of one that's kind of typical on their Tragic Kingdom type vibes. Just some of that. This really feels like a more kind of relaxed and kind of balanced and just kind of more kickback type version of Just a Girl. Not quite as riveting and not quite as enthralling it's not to say it's not enthralling but not quite as bouncy as like just a girl but definitely has some of that summary type vibe just being in like a beach or like a water park something like that just kind of kickback type vibes is something and like the stretching summer sun i'd have to say just something for like late july august something like that as the summer days are starting to blaze out as far as that kind of goes definitely a good one just real good tune for that sort of concept just an easy kind of boppish one it's six minutes but i just looked after it i would just listen to like the radio edit version i would just edit it to the point where it'd be three minutes and 36 seconds because the last kind of two and a half minutes of this song just kind of go with the same draw of like the, the the chorus and that type of stuff as far as that kind of happens but it is a pretty nice stretchy one to kind of have I think all three of the singles are good, but I feel like the second single is one of my favorite songs on this album. That would be Looking Hot. So this one is kind of a jivey kind of dance hit. I would have to say it's a good snappy electro jam, definitely. And it's just an easy rave hit for Out on the Town. So this is one. This is kind of more, no doubt, on more of their rock steady type vibes that they kind of had on that particular album. It's kind of more in like the 
hey baby and uh it's just kind of more in the hey baby and hella good type fashion i would have to say not i mean once again not quite as sheer snappy and quite as like ubiquitous as those songs off that album but it is a pretty good one it's too bad that some of these songs didn't really chart that heavily i just it's kind of a disappointment that like no doubt didn't get like a nice run to kind of go out with the bang in terms i mean it's not like the album and quality didn't go out with the bang but just in terms of like their hit singles because they were pretty huge in the 90s and the early 2000s and gwen stefani was huge in like the late 2000s so it's just kind of a disappointment that the reception for this album was so kind of taciturn and kind of lukewarm i would have to say but this single didn't chart and settled down kind of charted modestly on like the billboard 100 and that type of stuff but this is pro this is an excellent song this really just kind of i mean the thing about the thing about this particular album is EDM was huge throughout the summer, and the thing about this particular album is EDM was huge throughout the year of 2012, but no doubt doesn't really full-blown embrace EDM, but it kind of has similar vibes to EDM, but I just feel like the concept that no doubt was kind of doing that stuff before EDM was even really much of a thing, so it's just interesting that this is just kind of like a cousin of EDM, but it just hits so heavily, and this has some real kind of electronic type vibes that work, so that's a nice one. And then the third single, or and then the promotional single off this album is Push and Shove, which has Major Laser and Busy Signal on there. I would say about Push and Shove that this is a vanilla nightclub hit. It's a riveting dance pace, definitely, and it's a vintage but contemporary type song. So this one just feels like ripped out of like the earlier mid 2000s, something like that, just with its really kind of vanilla pace and this overall kind of basic kind of dance type feels about it. it's not quite as 2010s as sounding as much not quite as riveting but it does kind of have like a contemporary feel about it which just kind of gives it the edge where it's not obsolete or something like that so i like the concept busy signal fits this song pretty well it's just like vintage stuff that gwen stefani did on songs like hey baby and some of those type ones so it's just another good bop just like the old days and no doubt as far as that kind of goes it's a nice one now this song actually out charted looking hot now this song actually outcharted Looking Hot, but I just would have to say all three of the singles are pretty good. You can't go wrong with any of these as far as that's kind of concerned, despite the fact that they are kind of more off to the wayside. But I think this whole album, I think most of this whole album, I think most of this album shines through and just the overall sheer quality of it. There's just a ton of dance songs on here as far as that kind of happens. But to talk about, so out of 11 songs, I wound up recommending to you seven. And basically the seven songs I recommend are this, the first seven songs that you hear. So the last four songs on this album are the ones I don't recommend, which would be Undone, Sparkle, Heaven, and Dreaming the Same Dream. The thing about some of these, like Undone and Dreaming the Same Dream are kind of more ballad-esque ones. I really feel like there is kind of a makeshift kind of ballad song in Undone. That one just didn't connect with me enough. And then I feel like Dreaming the Same Dream was just kind of like a ballad kind of dance tune. That was really just like a down, it was really just kind of like a down tempo dance tune that just didn't quite have its the effectualness and then heaven was just kind of a jazzy kind of one that just the production work on that one just was not quite as electric that was really like the only dance dud on here that just in terms of like the mid-tempo stuff that didn't hit and then sparkle was kind of one that was similar to underneath it all just like a new rendition of like a stretching kind of summary kind of like reggae ton type tune like no doubt is known for throughout the 2000s and 90s and stuff i just have to say that it's this one just didn't quite hit as heavily i mean this one kind of is like a deeper just kind of more morose kind of lyrics as far as that's kind of concerned so i look after this one it's just a little bit more of like a morose just a little bit more of like a morbid and just kind of depressive kind of one but it hits it, it has some good lyrics on here in terms of how it hits but this is kind of the one if you're not in that kind of morose type mood it just doesn't quite hit as heavily i mean this is kind of the opposite of underneath it all it's kind of like the antithesis to that one where it's just kind of like a more morbid kind of version of that particular song but it is it's a nice one in certain concepts but you just have to look after it that it, it just does it's just not like yeah, I would say that Sparkle is kind of like the antithesis to underneath it all. This is just kind of one that does have like the same kind of reggae ton, kind of summer stretching type pitch. It's just kind of in a more morose kind of tip as far as that kind of goes. So if you're not looking for some sort of depressive type song to kind of be in a funk for that sort of sense, it just doesn't hit quite as heavily. But it is, it's a solid song. I would almost say that this could be an almost song, but just depending upon how the mood's catching this kind of works for you, I just would say that that one's just not one I vibe with this much. But it is, it's not a bad song, so I would have to say. But basically, 
seven songs out of 11 on here I recommend. So the other four songs I recommend on here, I feel like a good one that kind of has like some good pitch towards it that's a pretty good mid-tempo cut is just, and this is a really smooth one, is Gravity. A really nice one on here is Gravity. This is kind of a buttery mid-tempo dance cut, I would have to say. It's some catchy night venue fare, definitely, and it's just a regular hit evening out. So this is just kind of a nice one for like. Another snappy dance pace, kind of interchangeable with some of the other songs on this album. I feel like this fits just kind of an in-between or between Looking Hot and One More Summer, which One More Summer, we'll get to that one, but One More Summer is kind of like a stretching kind of down tempo high or high down tempo low mid tempo kind of song as far as that kind of goes but there's just some ones there's definitely a lot of ver there's definitely a lot of variety and stuff as far as that kind of happens with these dance hits on here they definitely encompass like the dance floors as far as having like some good kind of weekend thrills and just evening outs and stuff like evenings out and stuff like that i just would have to say but gravity is just a good mid tempo one that just is very smooth and then Kind of a song that reminds me of Depeche Mode, just in kind of like it's easy, kind of electronic feel is easy. This is kind of a high down tempo dance ballad, I would have to say. It's a good stock dance album cut, definitely, and it shows versatility quite a bit, and it's a bop. Definitely feel like this is a nice one. Really like the production work on this particular one. It's just a real kind of this almost ethereal, but just kind of dreamy kind of beat that this works pretty well. This has fantastic kind of production on here. It's just a real good down tempo song that doesn't lose like the energy despite the fact that the tempo of it's not quite as thrilling as like some of the ones like undercover and looking hot and some of those type ones and push and shove definitely so i would have to say it's just a good kind of lower tempo one that just works pretty well and then a pretty good highlight on here that's another surprising one is one more summer this is definitely a nice one this is a stretching kind of dance ballad i would have to say it's a low mid tempo kind of brewing hit and i feel like this is a relative of edm so this is another one that kind of works this one feels like something that like cobra starship would do or someone that's kind of ripped out rihanna back in the early 2010s is something like that something like rihanna or miley cyrus that just kind of feels ripped out of an electronica kind of dance floor as far as that kind of goes it really feels like a cousin or a relative of edm type music that was dominant throughout 2012 as far as that kind of went but Gwen Stefani handles this particular style quite well so it's just a good concept to get this along with the band and stuff as far as that kind of happens it's kind of like a dance ballad that just hits pretty well so this is just a good example one that's not quite as snappy and quite as riveting a dance but this happens to be like a good kind of almost slow dance kind of one that just has those scaping ballad type feels about it that just works pretty well so that's a nice one and then Undercover, and then Undercover is kind of a mellow background-like dance hit. I would have to say it's a good album cut, but it has mild production licks in the song. This is kind of more of like a basic type one that just kind of has like a pretty good vanilla type feel about it. I definitely like this one, but it's just such a mild kind of one, and this kind of feels like background music in a lot of ways. This is definitely one that you can just kind of zone out and just kind of forget about things, concentrate more on the dancing and the ladies there and that type of stuff as far as that kind of happens. It's kind of a more retroactive one that just kind of has like a more less riveting type feel but i mean it does have a pretty good pace but it just has a lot more mellowness towards it. i just feel like the concept of that one was just another highlight as far as that kind of goes because there's just a lot of good dance hits on this particular album this whole damn near album is chock full of these i do feel like sparkle and heaven are some extra kind of ones to have for some snappy kind of riveting pace despite the fact that i don't recommend those songs i would kind of feel like snap I do kind of feel like Sparkle is just kind of another reggae ton type tune that just works great for summer in addition to like Settle Down and Push and Shove definitely. But I kind of feel like Heaven is just kind of a mid-tempo one that just didn't quite work as well. And then even Dreaming the Same Dream kind of has like a dance pace just in like a more kind of ballad-esque kind of slow dance type feel. So there's just a whole bunch of these. They really went all out for this particular album as far as like the night fair. But I just would have to say there's just a few duds on here or just ones that just the tempo just didn't quite match up with the catchiness. Just the production choices are just... The arrangements to how they kind of happen i feel like the first seven songs have a pretty good sheer onslaught that just hit quite heavily but i would have to say the first seven songs have a pretty sheer onslaught that hit quite heavily but i just would have to say that the remaining four songs like undone and heaven kind of have some awkward type vibes about them and sparkles just kind of one where the arrangement that one was just kind of more of a depressive song that just didn't quite have as good connectability and electricity as it probably needs to i mean it's a good song but it just was not the mood of it was just kind of depressed. It was just, you know, this was a different kind of pitch. I mean, in some cases, it's just kind of like that, but this is kind of one that may not put you in the best mood just looking at the lyrical flow of it. Then I would say Dreaming the Same Dream is just kind of one that just didn't have the pace. So there's just some ones, like the most of this album is kind of kept on the dance floor, and it does have that, for the most part, pretty snappy pace, but it just kind of is more in agreement with some of these. I feel like the first seven songs have the biggest agreement factor that these are like the most riveting ones, but as the moods start to change up and things kind of get 
get on a different pitch. I mean, these are good for different modes and folks who have different moods and just overall attitudes as far as and altitudes as far as that kind of happens. But this kind of depends upon the situation. You know, in some cases, like I did connect with songs like Don't Speak, but I feel like Sparkle hits a little bit heavier than Don't Speak kind of does, where Don't Speak was just kind of a more one that just had a little bit more morose feeling but pulled it off better. But it's just kind of the concept. It's just kind of just personal taste. It may be just me being more opinionated this time. But I look after it. Me liking seven songs out of 11 on this particular album. I'm going to go ahead and give this album like a 7.75 out of 10. I feel like that's pretty damn good to be able to say. If I had liked Sparkle a little bit better, it probably would have been like an 8.25 or something. But yeah, 7.75 out of 10. Me liking seven out of 11 songs on here. This pretty damn good is to have to say the social score on the social score i'm going to go ahead and give this album like an 8.75 out of 10 i feel like most of this album connects because it's a pretty thrilling ride but i just feel like it's just kind of off to the wayside no doubt they don't quite hit they don't quite connect in terms of sheer like ubiquitous songs like they did back in the 90s and early 2000s and gwen stefani like i said in the 2000s and stuff i just would have to say it's not to say they've lost their touch because they still have they haven't lost their luster they're as sheer and heavy hitting as they were but for some reason they just i feel like it was probably Probably a new audience of folks that were coming up in 2012 and 2013 as this album was out that probably just didn't remember them from 1995 and 2001 and stuff so it's just kind of the concept of the contemporariness as far as the connectability with how that happened but i look after it i still give it an 8.75 because there's plenty of quality that just kind of happens to be a thing in terms of the future that's kind of difficult because no doubt hasn't put out an album in over 10 years so supposedly this is their final project but i still do have some more projects by them to review like return to saturn and stuff like that so i'm going to get to some more of those but this is pretty damn good here